The Ten Commandments can be found in Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17. They were given to Moses and the children of Israel at Mount Sinai shortly after their exodus from Egypt. And friends, many people believe that the Ten Commandments contain the fullness of man's responsibility toward God and that if I'm going to go to heaven today, they say it will be by keeping the Ten Commandments. Friends, I want to tell you that's not true and, and it never has been true. Number one, we do not live under the Ten Commandments today. Now, I know that might be surprising for some people to hear, especially coming from a, a Christian organization, but friends, our concern is to follow the Bible. And the fact of the matter is, the Bible specifically states that the Ten Commandments have been done away. I want you to listen carefully to Romans chapter 7. In verse number 4, the Apostle Paul is teaching the Romans that they no longer live under the Old Testament, that is, the law of Moses. And he says, you have become dead to the law by the body of Christ. He says that you might be married to another. Now, when he says you are dead to the law, dead to, do, does that in any sense sound like it is still operative? No, it doesn't. Dead to means it is inoperative. Now, now somebody says, okay, well, the Old Testament law is dead. I understand it is no longer binding. But how do you know that includes the Ten Commandments? Well, let's continue in this text. We drop down to verse 6. He says, But now we have been delivered from the law, having died. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? Certainly not. On the contrary, I would not have known sin except through the law. For I would not have known covetousness unless the law had said, You shall not covet. I want you to notice, Paul is talking about the law to which we are dead, and he gives as an example of that law, thou shalt not covet. Do you recognize that? Friends, that's one of the Ten Commandments. And so Paul clearly teaches that we are dead to the law of Moses, including the Ten Commandments, which he specifically cites as an example. I want you to notice with me another passage. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 7 says, But if the ministry of death, written and engraved on stones, was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not look steadfastly at the face of Moses because of the glory of his countenance, I want you to notice he's talking about something that was written, that was engraven in stones. He's talking about that which caused Moses' face to glow, and, and he had to put a veil on his face. Do you remember that in the Bible? If you go back to Deuteronomy chapter 5 and Exodus chapter 34, you'll see he's talking about when the Ten Commandments were given. When, when Moses received the Ten Commandments, his face glowed. All right, keep going. You drop down to verses 11 and verse 13 of 2 Corinthians 3, and the King James says that this was done away according to verse 11. It was abolished according to verse 13. Friends, the Lord is specifically telling us that the Ten Commandments no longer remain.
Number three, as we discuss why we don't live under the Ten Commandments today, it's important that we understand that God never intended the Ten Commandments or, or the old law to be permanent. The Ten Commandments were a part of the old law, and from the beginning God stated that it was temporary. The prophet Jeremiah prophesied about this in Jeremiah 31, 31. He said, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. You see, lest anybody miss the point, the Lord made it abundantly clear in Matthew chapter 17 on the Mount of Transfiguration. Peter, James, and John are present on the mountain with Jesus. And there miraculously appeared Moses and Elijah. And Peter impetuously suggested that he build three tabernacles, one for each of them, thus placing Moses and Elijah and Jesus all on the same level. But the voice of God came from heaven and said, This is my beloved Son, hear him. Friends, today, if you want to be saved and go to heaven, it won't be by keeping the Ten Commandments.